with you guys today we're taking a look at how to fix freezing video when you play it so if you're getting skipping video freezing video or any stuttering on your videos when you're using vlc then this video is for you it doesn't matter whether you're playing your videos uh, locally on your hard drive or whether you're playing them across the network vlc will need to cache the video in the player itself while playing so if you're doing this and it's not working and you're getting some sort of stuttering or some sort of uh, lag or things like that, I'm going to show you how to fix it in this video. But before we do that, let's have a word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, CD Key Sales, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then use the links in the video description. Use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09. Apply this to your order. And then you can go over to the change product key on your Windows operating system, paste in that key and click next and then it will activate your version of Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. So to resolve this issue or try to resolve it, what we're gonna do is go up to VLC and then go to Tools and go to Preferences. Once we open Preferences, you'll get a big box opening up like this one saying Simple Preferences. Inside here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the Input and codex uh, section here so go across to the input and codex click on this and then go all the way down the bottom right down the bottom here you'll see show settings simple and all click all and then we can then go into the settings here so what we're going to go for is the input and codex click on this one on the right hand pane here you'll now see a bunch of settings which we can tweak so in here, what we're interested in looking at is the advanced section for the file caching. Also, we've got disk caching and network caching. So even when you're playing a video uh, offline, VLC needs to cache it, and this will help it preload this video so you don't end up with a load of lag or stuttering and things like that. So setting these figures to a higher figure like a 1,000 might resolve this issue. Now, if you're still having issues, then you can up these settings a little bit to a little bit more. But before you do that, make it 1,000 for each of these and then follow the whole video and see if it resolves your issue. If it doesn't, you can come back to this file caching, this disk caching and network caching and make it 2,000. But leave it at 1,000 for now and watch the rest of the video. And then you can always change it to more a little bit later on. Go back to Tools and Preferences again. Next, we want to go to the Video tab. Inside the Video tab, we're going to be looking inside here where it says Output. You see it's set to Automatic. We need to change this setting here. Now, there's a couple of options you can do here, and, and I advise you to try both of them. So the first one would be OpenGL Video Output. You can try this setting to see whether this resolves your problem. The other one you can try is DirectX direct draw video output you can try this also to see whether that alleviates any sort of issues that you're having with uh, skipping stuttering or any sort of freezing because it can't keep up with the settings you got once you've got that set in place go back up to tools and preferences and we're going to go back into that input and codex here from this page what you need to do here is we're going to come down to some of these settings here and change them so you should be able to see down here where it says uh, input and codex. Click on this area here. Once we go to the show all settings inside here, we're, we've been here before. We're going back in here now and we're going to go down to where it says video codex in this section. We want to open this area up and you should see an area called FF MPEG. We want to go into this one, click on this. And as you can see here, we have some settings we can change inside here to try and get some smooth playback of our videos or movies, depending on what you're playing across the network or whether you're playing them locally. So inside here, you can have a little look and there's a couple of little settings that you can tweak to make it a little bit better for you. So the first one is hardware decoding. You can see it's set to automatic. Try to disable this to see whether this makes the situation better for you. And uh, if it does, then you can leave it disabled. Also inside here, we can see here, there is another section which we can look at, which is the skip loop uh, filter 
for H.265 decoding. This is set to none. Make sure you've got this set here to none to see whether this resolves the issue. And hopefully uh, this will resolve your problems. Uh, because if you've got any sort of uh, issues like freezing on the network when you're playing uh, a video, then this can help resolve that issue. And when you play your video back, hopefully all of these issues will be resolved and you will then get smooth playback across the network or whether you're playing it locally on your computer. So if you've got an older computer, maybe it's struggling a little bit or maybe when you're streaming uh, movies across the network like this, you can end up with a bit of freezing and a bit of lag. By having that cache there, what it's going to do is help cache the file a little bit more and give you a bit more preloading playback to stop the stuttering and the freezing on the screen. So hopefully this does help resolve all of your issues when you're playing back movies across the network. Remember, you can tweak the settings to suit your needs. You can always add a little bit more once you've got this set. So set it all up with 1000 uh, milliseconds. And if you need to add it to 2000 milliseconds, you can go back there and add a bit more until you find that little sweet spot uh, when you're playing back movies uh, on your system. These problems normally occur when you're playing large files uh, across the network, you'll start to end up with buffering or freezing or some sort of problem like that. And this can alleviate a lot of those problems. So anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I also want to say a special shout out to my tier three YouTube members who are Geo Sam. Albert Houston, also Gary Belts, and Welsh Tony One. Now, don't forget, guys, if you have joined my YouTube members group and you've joined my Discord server, to let me know in the general chat area there, and I will give you the appropriate role to the tier that you've joined. Anyway, have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the next video. If you've got any video requests that you want to see, then let me know in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.